Do you want a God Squad on FIFA 20? Look no further than U7Buy.com. Use the code Brooksy at checkout for 5% off your account, player, and coin purchases. Have a nice day. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooksy HD. Today, we are doing a full EFL Team of the Season video in FIFA 20. And starting off our team, we have Alex Palmer, or Palmer, however you want to say it. I think it's Palmer. Uh, plays for Plymouth in League 2. Very average looking goalkeeper. Don't think he's going to be very good. There's, I mean, goalkeepers are goalkeepers at the end of the day. They're either going to save it or they're not going to save it. And it's not Ter Stegen, so he's probably not going to save it. Right back is Fankati Dabo. I had to do that. I really feel disgusting right now. 14k for a decent looking right back, to be fair. He's got some good stats. Very fast. Ex Chelsea as well. So I'm very happy to use him. Looks good defensively, physically, dribbling. Um, My brain just literally. Oh my word. We're nearly at 1,000, 100,000 subs, guys. If you could leave a lot of subscription on the video and a like and a comment, what's the word of the day? The word of the day is Tesco. It's only because I can see something from Tesco on my desk. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It makes my day. We're near 100k, guys. I'm so close. I'm, I can actually... What's the name? Is that 100k? Yes, please. Charlie Good is uh, one of three... No, actually, he's the only pack pull player I have. He's six foot five, and he's quite good looking. I mean, on his card stats, Jesus Christ, Brooksy. I am really tired, as you can tell. Decently fast, good. I mean, quite good dribbling, actually, for a six foot five player. Uh, defending and physical are really, really good as well. So he might actually be a good centre back. And he's partnered beside Michael Ehiqui. Yep, uh, your guess is as good as mine. Michael Ehiqui is our left centre back. Six foot one, medium high, should be quite good actually. Looks good defensively. Even his dribbling's quite good, and he's quite strong, and he's really fast. In tandem, it just works. Then we got Joe Jacobson. I think he's the only left back that got a release, but nonetheless, he's he's our left back. He has a really really well rounded card. Uh, he's got early crosser as well, so <laughs> he's. I mean, he could play centre mid really really well defensively. He's good physically, great dribbling, passing. Everything's good. He can even score goals. Not that he's going to, but uh, he could if he wanted. How tall is he? 5'11". Really well-rounded card. Right mid is James Henry. I remember this guy when he played for Wolves randomly. Uh, who cares? Anyways, quite fast. A bit meh of a card, to be honest, but I needed a right winger. And I was like, you're the guy. Johnny Swift up next. Once again, another ex-Chelsea player. Has a really, really good card. Bar the strength and jumping. Everything else is like green, so... I'm happy to use him. Four-star skills, six foot tall, medium low. Defensively, not as good as he should be, but he'll make do, especially when his left center defensive mid partner is Ben Whiteman, who is specifically here for defending. So it's quite good. Uh, physically, great defending-wise. He, he'll, he'll do a job, and everything else is just very well-rounded. It's a good card. Left mid is Ronan Curtis. I was so happy when I seen him. He was always going to get one, in my opinion, because obviously I watch a lot of Portsmouth being a Portsmouth fan, and... He's been one of the best players in the league, if not, like, the football league. So, he's been banging out assists and goals for Portsmouth. Really, really good to have him. He's got the flair trait as well, which is incredible. Uh, doesn't have the best card, I'm not going to lie. Physically, he's quite good, and he's really fast. But everything else just seems a bit, like, you know, just not good. So, yeah, guys, just checking this here, by the way. This is not right. You guys need to subscribe to fix this. This is not good. All right, striker then is Ollie Watkins. Very surprised when he didn't get into the main team. And I was like, okay, they're going to do something crazy with him. Because he had like 27 goals in the in the championship. Something like that. And his card looks quite good. Uh, a lot of really random uh, orange stats. But the one that really puts me off is the 65 composure. Let's hope that he doesn't play bad. He, everything else about his card is incredible. He doesn't have skills. He's high medium though and 5'11 and he looks like a bit of a tank. So his 45 aggression brings that physical down way lower than he should be. And to finish it off, we have the Ginger Pele, Owen Doyle. Absolute lethality in player form. Uh, is red hot like his hair in League 2. He got recalled and then sent back on loan to Swindon so he could keep scoring goals. He scored so many goals in League 2. Top goal scorer by a mile. And he actually has a really, really good card. Really good agility and balance, which is going to make him quite usable. So this is the team we're using. Obviously, none of the big boys in here because I don't have many coins. Uh, I didn't use players account for this video purely for the fact that I had enough to buy the bad players. So we've got a couple of good ones like Ollie Watkins, the Ginger Pele, Curtis, for example. Uh... That's pretty much it. Let's go and play a couple of games and see whether these boys can hold up with their counterparts. F yeah, football players. Why didn't I just say football? Who cares? Well, that's great. Right, so we're playing this game in Rivals. What is this team? Really weird, actually. Very strange. Centre-back Kyle Walker instantly don't like, but he's got 
Austin Hen at left center mid. Kai Havertz on four chemistry at right striker. This is a weird team. And when I see weird teams, I get freaked out. So this might not be good. All right, then, boys, you may play in a lower league than the Premier League. But show my boy here that you're better than that. Turns like a truck as well. Enough of that, Ben Yedder, lad. I, God. I played Weekend League for the first time in, in months. And all you play against is Ben Yedder and uh, the other OP guy that you can never get the ball off. Ryan Kent, that guy. Go on, James Henry. James Henry, he's got three-star skills. Don't stop him. Ronan Curtis. How has he got that flick off? I don't even know. All I'm saying is, boys, with the addition of Owen Doyle and Ronan Curtis, we've got quite a good like full Irish 11 now we can build I'm gonna have to do that video but I'm gonna wait until after uh the Premier League team of the season's done purely for the fact that I think Emma Stevens might get a card ah oh my god Palmer is useless Palmer is absolutely useless you know how he has palm in his hands yeah he doesn't have any he's just got two nubs Ronan up to John Swift hold it up Watkins back to Swifty absolutely incredible goal that's how the EFL is I would say arguably for pure content right the championship is probably the best league in the world in terms of just what goes on it's ridiculous oh the turn from Watkins what a turn mate I was concentrating really hard because I want to score a load of goals with these guys Jeez, Brentford are lucky to have Watkins man I can remember when they signed him as well. He was he was banging in goals. I think it was for Exeter. The Ginger Pele. Can he pass? Yep, straight to Carlos Puyol. Oh, the Irish link up here down the left-hand side is incredible, guys. The Ginger Pele. To Ronan Kerr. Ronan. Bing, la, ling, bong, bong, ling, bing, bong. Ginger Pele's face was in the way. Excuse me. We need to chat, big man. Oi, Rob Hudson, whoever runs EA, you need to fix that, fam. <laughs> what a tackle, way. <laughs> Dab out. Dab on him. Dab on him. Jay Jacobson with a brilliant header, fam. Jay Jacobson. Oh my god, Palmer is useless. It's almost like Palmer is still a bronze card. <laughs> like, straight up, he's that bad. Dan James. Dan James, more like Dan James' country. Oh, oh my god, it's actually worked. The Ginger Pelly. He finishes with a plum, boys. Let's go. How did James Henry get that ball? That Ollie Watkins pass was insanely good. It's Lev Yashin in goal as well. I don't know, man. I think it's like a Jay Jacobson kind of thing. I think Lev Yashin doesn't sound as good as Yev Lashin. I think that, that sounds weird. <laughs> Going out on the Yev Lashin, boys. You're coming for a couple of cans. Jay Jokeson. Come on, Jay. Come on, Jay. Let Ben Cheddar shoot, mate. He's not going to score. He's a cheesy guy. <laughs> the cheese-related jokes are just flying in today. Very much like that free kick. Not flying in. Over. Uh, probably hit some guy in a wheelchair in the front row, actually. Oh, Palmer, please save this, bro. I know you're better than... Oh, good. What a good time. <laughs> Luckily, we've got the draw now. We need to go get the win in the next game. Palmer, we've got to do something uh, about you, bro. We've got to do something about you. Have we got any training cards? I'm legitimately considering this. Let's just put this on him and see if he's any better. Because he was bleeding useless. Oh, Jesus. Oh, what a surprise. Another Ben Yedder card. Wow, I am so shocked, guys. I would never have expected another Ben Yedder card. Oh, he's got this shiny go. I don't know what that means, but it's probably bad. Here we go. Oh, if you stay right there, big man. Look at this. What? John Swift. Near far post. Ginger Pele. Yo, what a finish. What a finish, man. Oh, my God. The volley as well. Oh, David De Gea ain't saving that. Yeet. James Henry. Doyler. Oh. <laughs> I've never moved. I've never done that on FIFA ever. I moved to try and make him move faster. I am so tired. Uh, Pele has just been upended, man. Can we get... He's like 89. You got to save me again, big man. Absol Honestly, Hekwe and Good are... Good. Good. All right. No.
Oh, Ollie. Ollie. Oh my god, he actually feels rapid. Oh, Pelly, true. Ginger. Gingy. Ronan. Ha 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 ha. that big man. Let's go, Ronan. Ah, lovely lad. Two Ireland guys on the score sheet. That's what I like to see. You get your shiny goat and get out of here, lad. Go to the chipper. Get us a better sausage there, will you? <laughs> you bleeding donuts, not the Grand National, lad. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, he's missed. This guy is the bleeding biggest donut I've ever seen in my life. Ginger Pele, you ready for this? Oh, he is. He's always ready. Do a, do a little jig, lad. Or just apologize. That's really what he asked you to do. <laughs> Well in, boys. Well in. Uh, he's just made a dumb old mistake, and I've scored with my dumb old crazy good player. Yeet! <laughs> oh, that's lit, man. Terrible icon. Oh, this is too easy. Where do I actually find these bottom feeders? Um, he's just scored to make it 3-1. That's a red 91 Gresman! Oh! Ginger Pele has to be... What? Uh, excuse me, that's just not physically possible. Oh. <laughs> He's so angry. He's absolutely fuming. Ollie Watkins, you're through, big boy. Watch this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's just... That's just... Here we go. 2-4-1 win, boys. We scored seven goals. We conceded four, to be fair to us. This is me playing, by the way. Not, you know, not DH Tex, for example. Mo Bamiang, what are you doing in my room? What are you playing for me? Get out. I can do it myself. I'm a bleeding god. Uh, Ginger Pele, look at that finish, mate. I mean, there's no chance you're saving that. If that's in foot champs, you're donezo. You know what I'm saying? Banger. Four lovies and leaves, boys. I'm going to have a look at the round of the team. I actually think some of these were quite good. The two center backs were brilliant. Jay Jacobson, not really too good. Fankati Dabo was just a bit meh. Same with James Henry. Same with Whiteman and Swift, to be fair. Curtis is all right. Owen Doyle is a absolute bags man. And Ollie Watkins can do everything. It's a very, very well-rounded team when you, when you compare the mediocrity and then the talented players. You got a good mix. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, it's been a bit more wacky than usual because my brain is in wacky mode. Uh, you leave a like on it, please. That would absolutely mean the world to me. Like I said, remember, comment the word Tesco in the comment section down below. And please, please, please subscribe. I am literally begging you at this point. We are 1.1 thousand subs away from 100,000. I want to put a plaque up on my wall, guys, that says I've hit 100,000 subscribers. Just subscribe. I'll see you in the next video, boys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.